No other YouTube advice channel is talking about the strategy that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. Follow each step and your channel will explode. Just like this creator who went from no growth to gaining 1000 subscribers in three months thanks to this video. Or this Fortnite gaming creator who on their second uploaded video gained almost 1000 subscribers in just 30 days. Now, in order to understand this strategy, we need to first start with how YouTube works. And to put it simply, when a viewer comes to YouTube, YouTube's paying attention to what do they click on and what do they watch, and will then recommend content based on that data. So in order to get your videos seen by more people and thus get you more subscribers, you need to, number one, make videos around topics people are actively interested in, Number two, make your videos interesting enough to the audience that they will choose your video over someone else's. And number three, keep that viewer watching for as long as possible. Now where most people go wrong is they only focus on step number three. They'll go out and buy a nice camera. They'll learn cool video editing tricks, but none of that matters unless you are doing steps one and two effectively. So the majority of your effort needs to be finding topics that your audience is currently interested in and and then making videos around that topic in a unique way that's going to interest that audience. And that is where this new YouTube growth strategy comes in, because we don't want to just find videos that are performing well. We want to find videos that are performing well in our niche from small channels. Because if other small creators are finding success talking on this topic, it means it's going to be easier for you to find success making a video on that topic. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this both for free and using a paid tool called Velio. Totally get it if you don't have money to invest into a paid tool, but if you can, Velio literally makes it 10 times easier to find proven video ideas. So let me show you how it works along with the strategy. So here I am inside of Velio. You can actually sign up with my link in the description. It is an affiliate link, but what we first want to do is search our niche broadly. So if I was in gardening, I just search gardening, or I could search Minecraft. Uh, for this example, we're going to pretend we're going to do a video editing tutorial. So I'm just going to search broadly Premiere Pro and click enter. And what this is going to do is show me all the videos on Premiere Pro. But where this tool gets insanely good is I can go over to filters here and I can narrow down which Premiere Pro videos I want it to show me. So for example, we don't want it to show us all the videos. We just want to see videos from channels under 5,000 subscribers. So we'll apply that filter here. I also want the video to at least have gotten 20,000 views. I think that would be a, a decent viral video. And then I also want to set the filter that it has to been posted within the last 365 days just to make sure that this is something that was recently posted and it is getting views currently. And then I can click apply down here and it's going to go through and sort all the videos based on this, which means now we're literally going to see lists of videos from small creators around our chosen topic that are actually working. That's actually making them gain views and subscribers. All right. So let's take a look at a few of these. We've got insane AI tools in Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro 2024 new features. This channel only has 1,900 subs posted a year ago and they have gotten 49.5 thousand views. And what this 100.5 X means is means this has done a hundred times better than what they normally get for views. Obviously, because they're a small channel, this totally blew up and they're getting way more views than they normally do. This is what we like to call an outlier video, something that has performed better than what they normally have gotten. So what does this actually tell us? Well, it tells us that talking about AI tools for Premiere Pro, or at least the new features that are AI related, is something audiences are interested in. And what we can do with this information is it tells us that there are people interested in learning more about AI in Premiere Pro. We can find a way to talk on Premiere Pro and AI in our own way. We wouldn't want to just copy and paste this guy's video. It wouldn't be ethical. And then also people aren't going to click on a video that looks identical to another video. Like we need to find a way to stand out, but at least tells us the topic of Premiere Pro and AI is something we should probably cover. We also see this again over at this one over here, the five best AI video editing tools in Premiere Pro. This was posted uh, about a year ago. Person has 1,200 subs and they got 41,000 views. Literally, this is th this person taking a different take. They're talking about AI editing tools. This person's also talking about AI tools for Premiere Pro. They both got 
over 40,000 views as small channels. Here's another creator, Premiere Pro plugins for fast editing and great effects, 3,000 subs, they posted seven months ago, and they got 102,000 views, and they were talking about Premiere Pro plugins. Now, you may be wondering if it's really this easy of just finding proven ideas that are working and then finding a way to stand out in your own unique way. Well, hey, guess what? I literally did this with this data. I found these proven topics, and a few months ago, I made this video called this AI editing plugin for Premiere Pro is game changing. So I made my own version. I took inspiration from, hey, there's a lot of interest around AI editing tools. Let me make my own version. And so I did with this video. And you may be wondering, how well did this video do? Let's click over it and take a look. 60,000 views in six months. Now you may be thinking, Colin, you're already a big channel. If you post a video, it's going to get views. Well, actually, no. I've only mainly talked about CapCut on my channel and then have moved into the YouTube growth space. So I haven't really talked on Premiere Pro on my channel. I'm not known as the Premiere Pro guy, I'm more known as the CapCut guy. And most of my viewers are editing on a phone, not in Premiere Pro. And to just further prove that this did not come from people subscribed to me, 97.5% were unsubscribed when they watched this video. So yeah, the strategy does work. And just to add on top of it, the cherry on top is I was able to promote this AI tool with an affiliate link. And this video, this one video where I talk about this AI tool has generated me thousands of dollars. So not only did I get a video that blew up, it got me tons of views and subscribers, but I also got tons of revenue on top of it. Now, hopping back to Velio real quick, something I do want to point out is you may notice that there's only a few videos here on Premiere Pro, and then it switches to Cap Cut and some other editing stuff. And the reason why is once it runs out of that information or data, like there's only so many new channels talking about Premiere Pro that have gotten over 20,000 views, it'll try to start to show other things that might be relevant. Like obviously Cap Cut is a video editing software, so it's obvious, you know, that could be a relevant thing that I might want to see. But I can also is increase this filter. So Maybe 5K, maybe I could increase it to 10,000. Any channel under 10,000 subscribers is probably still considered a small channel. So if I click apply and do this again, I will get more videos captured. As you can see, here we go. We got some more videos in here. So here's another one. Best settings for exporting videos on Premiere Pro 2024. Channel with 11,000 subs, but they probably didn't have 11,000 subs at the time because this was a year ago. And this video got 34,000 views. It did 52 times better than what they normally get. There's another video I could talk about. How 2025 is just around the corner as the recording of this. Why wouldn't I go and make a video, best export, best settings for exporting video on Premiere Pro in 2025? Because you know, every year Premiere Pro comes out with a new update. Those export settings might have changed. People want the most recent information. I could make that. And what we can actually do with this tool is we can actually save these videos. So I can click the save button here. I can click manage folders, create new folder, and we'll call this Premiere Pro, spelt incorrectly there. <laughs> click save, there's my Premiere Pro one. Click save video, and I can also save these other ones here just so I have them saved. So we'll add that to Premiere Pro. We'll add this one to Premiere Pro. And now with all these videos saved, we can actually go over to save videos. And we now have a folder here for Premiere Pro. And we have all our videos saved here that we can reference. So that way we can remember all the viral video editing ideas. Another awesome feature inside of Velio is you can click the three dots and you can actually save the channel. And what Velio will do is we'll add over here your saved channels, which I've got my YouTube niche save channels here. And it'll actually show me all the channels that I save here and I can track their video performance. So once you have an idea of all the people who post in your niche, I can actually view all the top performing videos here. So let me just reset this. And here are all the videos from my competitors and I can pay attention. I can watch to see, oh, a certain topic is taking off. So for example, Think Media podcast, why every content creator is at risk. People are losing their channels. So there's obviously interest around protecting your channel. That is a topic, okay? So I can find my own way to create a video around this. Maybe it's 10 settings to turn on now to protect your channel or something to that effect. But I'm starting with, here's what people are interested in. YouTube recommends content based on people's interests. So we're taking those interests and then we are finding our own way to stand out. Let's do this one more time for the gaming niche and then I'll show you the free way to do this. So for example, let's just type in Fortnite, very popular, very competitive. Gonna click the filters, going to choose 
subscribers here. Let's just do 10,000. Views need to be over 20,000. And in the last 365 days, apply. Let's see what comes up. So here we've got the entire story of Fortnite in 16 minutes. This channel has 451 subs, but got 79,000 views from this video. Here we got a video about someone complaining about Lego Fortnite. Lego Fortnite Creative is a nightmare. Only has 5,000 subs. In seven months, they were able to get 230,000 views. Here's another video. Best 2024 Fortnite keyboard and mouse settings plus hand cam. Here's another one week Fortnite keyboard mouse or KBM progression. Insane. They have 4,000 subs and in seven months got 117,000 views. And that keyboard mouse progression style video is actually what this creator did. Their channel is named Taze. And on their second video, this was the first playing on PS4 in 2024. But then their next video, one week Fortnite keyboard and mouse progression controller to KPM or KBM, which is keyboard mouse. Second video, 43,000 views in seven months. If we actually remove the constraint in value for subscribers, you can actually see that this progression from keyboard mouse style is a really popular format. People love to see people going from a controller to mastering keyboard and mouse and the progression it took for them to actually get good. And I wouldn't be surprised if Taze saw this and made his own version of it. And as a result, was able to blow up really fast. And as you can see, hitting 1000 subscribers becomes super easy once you apply this simple strategy of finding outlier videos that are performing way better than the channel normally does, but from small channels, it makes it super easy to start getting views. So let's take a look at the free way of being able to find this stuff. So if I was to do Premiere Pro again, I would still search Premiere Pro and YouTube search. I click search for that. And then what I would do is I'd make sure I have the free extension of vidIQ installed. I don't recommend the paid one, but I do recommend the free one because the free one will show you outlier score, and it'll also show you how many subscribers the channel has. And what we ultimately want to look for is, does a channel get more views or a video? Does a video get more views than a channel has subscribers? And we can still use the filter button over here. And so we can still sort by videos that were uploaded this year. So we can click that. And you know, YouTube itself is already going to try and show you things that has most likely appealed to a lot of people. We can unfortunately sort it by subscriber count. Uh, Unfortunately, you can't do that, but if you at least look for videos that get more views than a channel has subscribers, you're going to still get a similar result. Whichever route you go, find those high performing videos and find a way to stand out. If you're interested in value, I will have that link below in the description so you can at least test it out, see if it's right for you. And you should check out our YouTube course that we have here for free so that way you can get your channel set up properly.